Hello, I'm Anthony Tolliver. This is for the class of 2019, class of 2020, class of 2021, and class of 2022 at Thurgood Marshall Academy, Public Charter High School. This is a letter for all of y'all from me. Dear Thurgood Marshall Academy, I'd like to apologize for traumatizing the entire school body with a scary joke that I've made via social media. It has been hell for me back in 2019 when I wanted to fit in with the wrong crowd. That's what led to me making a piss poor decision of bringing a weapon on school property. School is a safe zone for students to learn and it shall remain that way. What I said and done was terrible and got me into severe trouble such as being detained and put behind bars for the first time and being expelled from school. My traditional school life ended horribly and I hate myself for it. I know I've put fear into some people's hearts, making them think that I would actually commit such an act, but in all honesty, I was never capable of doing such a thing. I consider myself a good guy who stays out of trouble and keeps it to himself all the time. The wrong crowd that I looked up to back in 2019 were boys who rapped about murder and went outside at night to rob people and jump the weak people. I was so stupid falling for their activities, not knowing that there's only two consequences for committing those crimes dead or jail. I would never choose that lifestyle and risk ruining my life for longevity. I took that picture on Instagram with the revolver in my hand trying to impress those boys who actually lived their life based on those crimes and toting their own guns on their music videos and social media profiles. I thought it was cool but it wasn't. Deep down in my heart it didn't feel great what I was doing. I know what I'm about and that's not going out committing crimes. I'm about wanting to succeed academically despite those terrible behaviors I've committed while attending here, such as being late to school, being absent, skipping classes, and throwing a temper tantrum. All of those were my fault, and I blame myself for following in the wrong footsteps. I should have just stayed in my lane and seeked extra help from my teachers and the school's counselor, but I didn't. I was so dumbed down and discouraged by the environment I was trying to be a part of. I'm also hurt by the fact that I was falsely accused of being a school shooter when deep down I'm not that kind of person. I was trying to appeal my case from being expelled here, but I didn't have enough sufficient evidence to remain at the school. My classmates accused me of being a school shooter because I was the quiet, geeky, oh, crap. My classmates accused me of being a school shooter because I was the quiet, geeky student who predominantly stayed to himself, but kept close to a small circle of friends and his girlfriend. Yes, I was being bullied here, but that doesn't give me the right to take it out on the whole school over a few students who were the active bullies. What I did to handle me being bullied, I wrote lyrics. I would write a song talking about their appearance, and I would rap it to myself, which would make me feel better. Shooting up a school was never on my mind, and I happened to fall into the stereotype of, it's always the quiet, nerdy kids to retaliate in such a way. Well, I, I don't do that. Well, I don't do that. I'm not mentally psychotic. I write a short diss song about my bullies, rap it to myself, and I move on. Period. Once again, I apologize for bringing a BB gun on school property and texting my accuser the scary joke that she didn't take lightly at all. It wasn't funny. It was stupid. I should have never spoke those words and had a weapon in my possession in the first place. The consequences I've received have restored me back in place, and now I'm a better person than who I was before. Signed, Anthony Tolliver Jr. <sighs> Will y'all ever forgive me?